Hello and welcome to St. Andrews, where we are a community of faith united by the love of Jesus Christ, building disciples through worship, study, prayer, and service. Let us turn our hearts and minds to worshiping God. Let us pray. O oh God of wisdom, you delight in deep truth. Let these words of scripture teach our hearts that we may hear your joy and gladness for the sake of Christ, which is your wisdom for us. Amen. Our scripture reading is from the gospel according to Luke chapter 6, verses 37 through 42. Listen for God's word. Jesus says, do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. He also told them a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully qualified will be like the teacher. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, friend, let me take out the speck in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So tonight we begin the observance of the season of Lent. And sometimes we think of Lent as a time of, of giving up something. Some people give up a particular food during this season. Others add a spiritual practice, like adding daily Bible reading into their uh, lives. But for this Lent, in this church, we are going to focus on forgiveness. Each Sunday we will explore one aspect of forgiveness. When we begin uh, with Jesus' call to his disciples, he says, Forgive and you will be forgiven. And then he leads directly into the appeal about examining the log in our own eye before we go trying to remove the splinter from our neighbor's eye. Now the beginning of forgiveness is self-exploration. Before we can forgive others, we must look to, within ourselves to see what we are holding on to where we are holding on to unforgiveness. Are there places in your life where you are holding a grudge or a judgment? It's no mistake that Jesus partners judging and forgiveness in his uh, sermon. Are there places in your life where you have not fully received forgiveness, where you're still holding on to that guilt or that shame? Pay attention to those areas as we begin this Lenten journey of forgiveness. Because these are the places where we begin. Those places uh, where we have need to forgive. And those places where we need to receive forgiveness. On Ash Wednesday, we place ashes on our foreheads or on our hands as a reminder of our mortality. We come before God and we admit that we don't have it all together. And among the ways that we've fallen short of God's purposes for us are the ways that we have withheld forgiveness and the ways that we've not fully accepted forgiveness. Now, there, there, there are two parts of forgiveness that I'm highlighting here. There's, there's the giving and the receiving. Now, when, when either of these parts isn't working within our very selves, we are not at rest and we aren't fully, fully embodying the, the kingdom of God. When Jesus makes that appeal, just simply saying, forgive, it sounds as though it's easy. But forgiveness, both the giving and the receiving, sometimes isn't all that easy. It's almost like trying to move a log. It's hard work. It can take more than one try. So for tonight, as we begin this Lenten journey into forgiveness, 
I invite you to take a moment in silence. Search within yourself to find those places where you need to give forgiveness. Find those places within yourself where you need to receive or fully accept forgiveness. Think of those places and bring them to God. Let's observe a time of silence and then I'll close the silence with prayer. Let us pray. Listening God, we bring our whole selves to you. Make known to us the places where you are calling us to forgive. Lead us along a healing journey this Lent. Help us to know the ways you would have us forgive one another. Make known to us the places where we have not accepted forgiveness, whether that forgiveness is received from another person or from you. Be with us, God that we might truly receive forgiveness. As we walk along this Lenten journey of forgiveness, be with us, Lord. Bring us closer to you. Amen. Go in peace, reconciled to God and to one another. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord be kind and gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.